Hey y'all, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I repackage and ship out these lashes. All right, guys, so to get the lashes to look like this, um, you have to repackage it. So now I'm gonna show you what the lashes originally look like. So this is what the lashes originally looked like. Um, the white paper you see is just the paper I flipped over um, that have all of my vendor's information on it. This is how the lashes came with the vendor's information and with a silver background. So now I'm just going to open up this case and I'm going to remove um, the label with all of the vendor's information on it. Like I said, I turned it around for this video because, of course, I'm not trying to... Um, give out my lash vendor information so I have it flipped over I'm just gonna remove that I'm gonna take the lashes from out of the case and I'm gonna remove the um, sparkly silver background now I will say some vendors they will change out the background for you so let's say if you don't like the silver glitter if you like pink like I do some vendors will change the color out for you but I just didn't want to be I, I don't know. I didn't want to give my vendor too many problems or a hassle. I can package it myself. I actually prefer it. So what I'm showing you now is the paper that I got, the brand of the glitter paper that I got from Walmart. They give you two sheets of glitter paper for 99 cents. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut out a square piece to replace the silver um, glitter that I have taken out. Um, both of the two sheets of paper are right on top of each other. So when I cut out my squares, oh, that's not a square, that's a rectangle. <laughs> when I cut out my rectangles, I'll be making, um, you know, cutting out two because I have the sheets on top of one another. All right, and now I'm gonna take these stickers um, with a clear background. You can pretty much get these done anywhere. If you just go to Google and search stickers, um, there's a couple of websites that you can use. You're just gonna look for their um, stickers with clear background and you're just gonna add your own image and get them printed out. They're very inexpensive. Like I said, it's easy to find on Google. All I'm doing is applying that sticker onto all of the pink squares that I create. Then I'm just gonna put that inside of the lash case. I'm gonna put the lashes back <laughs> inside of the case on top of that, and then close the case. And that's pretty much how I repackage my lashes. Um, the lashes that I have on my website isn't the main focal point of my website. My focal point on my website is selling version hair and wigs. So the lashes is just something I do on the side. So that is why I don't mind having this simple design. I think it's really cute. Um, it matches my color scheme and just having my logo on there just makes it personal to my brand. So I think this is just a cute, simple way to repackage lashes if you just are adding lashes to your site. And once you're done packaging up your lashes, you guys, do not forget to take plenty of pictures and videos so that you can use those pictures and videos on your website and on all of your social media pages um, because it's definitely a selling point to have good quality videos. I'm just showing you a few clips of videos that I will put on my page. Okay, so now it's time to ship out these lashes. So pretty much all you need is bubble wrap, 
um, bubble wrap because bubble wrap is pretty much going to protect your lashes so that they don't crack or break while they're being shipped in the mail. All right, so right now I'm just placing the lashes on top of the bubble wrap, just trying to see exactly where I want to cut out um, the bubble wrap at. And then after I cut out the piece of bubble wrap, I'm just going to wrap it around the lashes and tape it down. If you've been watching me long enough, you definitely know I love to add tissue paper to every freaking thing, okay? So I added a flyer, I added tissue paper, and I'm just going to wrap everything up. And after everything is wrapped up, I am going to put it inside of one of my pink mailers, which I got from Amazon. You can buy a whole bunch of these in any color off of Amazon. Now, what I am gonna do, I'm sealing the bag, but the bag is too big, so I am gonna cut the bag in half. Yes, y'all, cut the bag in half because why not get two big bags out of one? It's perfectly fine. <laughs> then I'm just gonna tape down the end and then I'm gonna add um, a shipping label to it and then this package will be ready to ship. y'all and we're done don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it if you are not subscribed to this page make sure you're subscribed and you turn on your notification bells because more videos like this are coming soon thanks for watching